parents and scholars, good evening. Um, I hope all is well. Um, as we prep for the fall 2020 2021 school year, we need your help. Uh, we're prepping uh, for ninth and 10th grade course selection, and uh, we're going to do a brief overview of the courses of uh, college college selection process, things of that nature. Um, so during this presentation, I want you to pay attention because once we complete the presentation, you will need, then need to utilize the form that I will outline and share with you to select the proper courses. It is very important that during this time, um, you take this piece serious. Um, for my freshmen, you know, you gotta make sure you get it right and get off to a great start. So making sure you pick the courses that you want uh, during this time will definitely uh, ease this transition um, as you start your high school career. Also be mindful that during this period of social distancing, there'll be an added level of supports that you may need uh, to ensure that you can get the, the courses that you want and or understand what those courses are. Uh, we will share this, this recording will be available on our, our Lighthouse website on YouTube, and I will share my contact information as well. It is imperative that once we complete this presentation, you get the form submitted no later than May 31st. May 31st, I'm sorry. Um, at this time, we're going to start the presentation. So, you know, I want you to focus on our Arkansas State Core Curriculum. So essentially, this is outlining the core courses that all scholars need to complete uh, the state required credits to graduate. And uh, with Smart Core Curriculum, you need four Englishes, a half a credit of oral comm, four maths, three sciences, three social studies, uh, half a credit of PE, a half a credit of health and safety, a half a credit of fine arts, and six career-focused courses. Um, I want to call out career-focused courses because normally when we make these selections, you really can't define which ones they are because they, you know, they run parallel to the other core courses. So they range from our business communications courses, our stagecraft, um, what, what else? Our music, uh, a choir, if you will, band, any of the arts outside of art, beyond art one, those are career focused courses, uh, career and technical courses, if you will. Um, and then of course, the electives. So career focused courses and electives are one in the same. The state is just requiring you to get four additional uh, credits, if you will. And that leaves us at obtaining 26 credits to graduate from uh, Jacksonville Lighthouse Charter. Also, um, we, we moved to this track where um, in a, instead of the 26, uh, if you are a transfer student or you come in and you transfer out, uh, the minimum required, the state minimum requirement is 22 credits um, a scholar must obtain to graduate uh, from any school in the state of Arkansas. So please make sure you're paying attention. The big adjustment would be those four additional electives would be uh, removed. So please make sure you take that into consideration uh, if you are transferring in or uh, transferring out. And uh, while you're at Lighthouse uh, CPA, you know, for our, our honor track scholars, uh, they are required to obtain 28 credits, a combination of eight pre-AP and AP courses, which we will go over, uh, and obtain at least a 3.5 or higher uh, from ninth to 10th to 12th grade. It's very important that, especially my freshmen and sophomores, you keep that GPA as high as possible. This will be the, the meter uh, or the start that you need to propel your GPA 
for those 11th and 12th grade years. It's very important that you go in focused uh, because it'll definitely be hard to keep if you don't give yourself a cushion in ninth and 10th grade. So uh, beginning with the class of 2019, distance learning class was a requirement. And due, due to COVID-19 and the impacts of, with social distancing, uh, I wanna you know, call that out. Uh, we have transitioned to uh, more of a distance learning platform. So there shouldn't be a big change there. Scholars should be familiar and comfortable uh, or as comfortable as can be uh, adjusting to the coursework online. I will, I will say this, scholars have to be mindful and manage their, their sales, whether that's communicating with parents, with teachers, uh, you know, collaborating with their peers. Uh, it'll be almost like managing a college class. So I think the beauty in, in COVID, if you can find some beauty is that uh, scholars have had some time to adjust uh, more so than they would have had to taking uh, distance learning courses. Of course, beginning in ninth grade, uh, we, we have a financial literacy component um, that all scholars are required to take, and then they transition into economics in 10th through 12th as well. It would also uh, suffice and satisfy that financial literacy requirement. Uh, many of our scholars as freshmen take economics in the ninth grade. I want to stress this ninth grade uh, economics is, is nine times out of ten will be distance learning and we've had some scholars have some challenges with the coursework. Um, it, it is not hard but you have to be willing to manage that and communicate with your distance learning instructor. Uh, your facilitator that's on campus, Ms. Coates or Ms. Nicholas, they can only do so much, uh, but it'll be that scholar's job as well to make sure that they're connecting and communicating, keeping constant communication with their instructor. I wanna stress this because on the Google form for your selection process, uh, you will have to select those electives that I kind of called out earlier as we looked at the overview for credits. Um, some electives are full year, some electives are semester you can mix and match um, you definitely have to make sure you are being mindful there on the course selection form we will make sure we identify what our full year and half year semester elective credits for our ninth grade this will be the flow for for this is a typical flow for most scholars you have your english your math will be algebra one unless you to have taken it earlier uh, in the eighth grade or seventh grade, um, then you would have an algebra two, uh, physical science, world history. I want to make call out, you do have the option to take an AP world versus a regular. And for those who don't know what AP is, uh, AP is the advanced placement courses uh, for our scholars who want to get a leg up and earn uh, or have the potential to earn some additional college credit uh, that they can utilize once they graduate um, if they make a, a, a certain score on the within their AP exam uh, with the AP world. But it is definitely a great option. I challenge all of our scholars to make sure they take at least three. Uh, it won't hurt and it makes yourself look more competitive when you're competing for uh, admission and scholarship consideration to colleges and universities throughout the United States. You also have to select those that those three electives. And for our 10th grade, the flow is, is very similar to the flow for ninth grade. Uh, you would do an English, a math, uh, a biology for your science. Um, that econ and civics will definitely be an option as well. And then you would have three other courses. So if you don't take econ in the ninth grade, it will definitely trans, econ and civics, it'll transition over to 10th grade, um, where, where also that financial literacy component will be there for you uh, if you happen to pick econ and civics as a freshman 
if I would if I was you, I would take it as a freshman and get it out the way. That way you can satisfy that uh, financial literacy component. Big call out, definitely. We want to make sure you submit your forms by May 31st. And I'm going to pull these forms so you can see what we will be sending out via email. Um, this will be the ninth grade course selection form, pretty straight laced. We want to make sure we have valid contact information via email uh, with the scholar. We would prefer the scholar use their lighthouse email, uh, just, just trying to be standard and professional. Uh, first name, last name, um, the courses that we've reviewed, English, math, science, social studies, and their electives. So um, wanna wanna highlight the electives, health, which would be a, a, a half a credit component. It normally aligns with PE. So for one year, one semester, normally the fall, it would be health. Then the spring, you would take PE. I would advise my freshmen, get that out the way. Uh, we've seen it. We've seen scholars who don't, don't take advantage of taking it their freshman year. And uh, they get so bogged down in their other courses later on as a high school student, they ended up taking it as a senior. And no senior you know, wants to take a freshman level course um, and be the only senior in that class with a, a, a class full of freshmen. So go ahead and knock that out the way. Uh, Spanish one, Spanish two, art one, visual art, vocal music, music theory. Uh, of course, your, your different uh, band one, brass band, band percussion, theater, stagecraft. And for those who may be confused about theater and stagecraft, uh, theater is where you uh, learn the, the components of being a thespian, uh, being the artist, if you will, uh, and from per art, performing arts. And then stagecraft is where you bring it all together and you're working on the stage, the display, the lighting. So uh, most scholars take theater and then transition to stagecraft. Forensics, uh, for those who are interested in uh, CSI, crime scene investigation, um, survey of business, business communication, which is a half a credit. Normally when scholars take that, uh, it aligns with leadership communications, with this, which is also a uh, advanced oral communication. Um, so if you happen to miss oral communication or, or wanna take or leadership communications instead of oral communications, it will suffice that credit that you need uh, to graduate. ELA drama, um, journalism, debate, which will also suffice the oral comm um, credit that is needed. Uh, computer science one and two. I want to make call out call out this uh, that additional that fourth math that that scholars need to graduate. If you, if scholars are in STEM focused science, technology, engineering, and math, many times these science courses uh, or computer science courses and engineering courses will suffice that fourth math beyond algebra two. So, you know, if you're a freshman and, you, and you're interested in STEM and take uh, computer science one and two, you're actually giving yourself a leg up uh, in the courses that you won't have to take as a senior. Intro to engineering, advertising and design, uh, intro to criminal justice, lifespan development. Uh, lifespan development is essentially um, a hybrid anat anatomy and physiology class. So for those who are interested in the anatomy and uh, the body and uh, you know growth from birth to you know death, that is definitely that that course that uh, you would select. And you, you, and you have the opportunity to select three additional courses. So definitely make sure um, you have the courses you want. You preference those first three first. Now you will see that you have a elective choice four, five, six, and six, four, five, and six. 
we ask scholars to pick more than what is offered because that course might, if it's gone in the selection process, then we can move down to your next level uh, of selected courses. So uh, make sure you pick beyond those uh, third, third choices to the fourth, fifth, and sixth so you can have a course that you still want. If you don't, um, you will be put into a class. So don't leave it to chance. And as we end the, the selection sheet, we want to make sure that uh, you provide an accurate email, phone number, and include the area code. And we want you to make sure that you add the guardian who helped you review the selection form. So uh, we want to make sure uh, those questions that may need to be addressed can be addressed. So please leave some valid information there as well. And outside of that, the fastest way to connect with me is via email at Wendell, W-E-N-D-E-L-L dot scales at, S at Jacksonville dot L-H-A dot net. So we definitely want to make sure you all leave some contact information for me if you have questions. We want to make sure your scholar has the best opportunity to get the courses that they want. So for those who need their courses, if they hadn't, if they didn't have the opportunity to go to school, we want to make sure that you select the courses that you need. But we need those courses in this form completed no later than May 30th. So we will be sending this form out and um, our 10th grade form as well. And it's similar, very similar uh, for our 10th grade scholars. Um, you would select your English, your math, your science, your social studies, and of course you will have those electives. And, and they're all the same, but again, you have to make sure you preference those first three choices um, and then select beyond that. So uh, again, if that course isn't available in one or two or three, you have something that you selected versus us selecting it for you. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are excited that we're embarking on this new journey with social distancing and we still want to do our part to make an impact and make sure our scholars get these forms completed. Um, again, thank you. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to connect with us.